Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Today we are doing the Modern Warfare M13 versus the Modern Warfare 2 M13B. Why was it necessary? But yeah, we're going to be comparing the Modern Warfare M13 and the Modern Warfare 2 version because they're both the same gun. I'm going to explain this in the commentary, but we're going to be comparing these two guns because two versions of the same gun could end up in the same Call of Duty game. It's happened with Warzone. It's kind of happened with games like COD Online and COD Mobile. It can happen in this game. We got two different versions of the AK. But yeah, the M13 is it's by far my favourite AR in Modern Warfare 2019. That gun was so fun to use. And I finally got it in this game. Now you're probably wondering, why am I doing this now and not two months ago in Season 1? Well, I couldn't unlock it in DMZ. Because I couldn't do it with randoms and I don't have friends to do it with. And I can't do it on my own. So I literally just unlocked it for a store bundle the other day. But yeah guys, we're just going to compare these two guns. And yeah guys, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe subscribe for more you will see the classes at the end of the video and let me know down below in the comments which of these two versions of the m13 do you think is better and yeah guys enjoy the video okay guys so we're here on crash using the m13 on oh, modern warfare obviously <laughs> Yeah guys, the M13, it's my favourite AR on this game. I don't know what it is about this gun, but it's so satisfying to use. I've just always loved this gun. It's just a great gun. It's like the P90 of assault rifles. You know, it was just a really good gun, but it, it was never the best. Like, it was never the meta. Still a melt machine though. I went off on that streak then. Come on, love about the guns on this game. It's not just like the sound and animations, it's just when you get on a roll, it just feel unstoppable. We went in hard there. Alright, so now we got the Modern Warfare 2 M13. So what do you guys think of the Modern Warfare 2 M30? Nice. Yeah, I love it. I love this gun. High in sight. Where? Where's the feed? Oh yeah, now you come over here. Yeah, as I was saying, I love the iron sights, I just, it's such a good gun, like it's not meta, but it's one of those guns that are like, it's that good that you can enjoy using it without being shamed for it. Does everyone get shamed for using the meta nowadays? You cannot be serious. No. Yeah, both versions. 
just keep getting distracted. So many kills. Both guns are very, very accurate. Like, the recoil is, like, the most standout part of this gun. It's got a very good damage, very good fire rate for an AR. Both versions are just amazing. But which of these two guns is better? Just like a lot of the guns in Modern Warfare 2. It feels like this has been copy and pasted from Modern Warfare, but it's just on a different engine, and the way the damage range on the attachments work, it just feels like it has a slightly slower time to kill. What it was in Modern Warfare 2019 was, you put on a monolithic suppressor, and the max damage range increase in barrel, and that's the max damage range you can get on a gun. Whereas with this, there's so much more to it, so that if, you, if you're not actually putting on the max damage range attachments, and the max damage range weapon Unit. It just some of these guns they don't feel as good as the Modern Warfare 2019 counterpart. You don't have to have the max damage range attachments and class setups on the guns. It's just if you were to put these two versions of the M13 into Warzone 2, it could happen. And I will reference this video by the way. It's definitely going to happen at some point. Two versions of the same gun in Warzone 2. Aim assist, thank you. Definitely not overpowered, but who cares? Yeah, it's just the max damage range. You don't have to put on the best attachments for it because of the way the attachments work on this game. Not a lot of these guns feel like they kill faster or as fast as Modern Warfare 2019 because the overall time to kill is slower on this game despite how fast it feels. Yet, for some reason, they still feel like they have a similar time to kill. Putting two versions of the same gun in Warzone 2, it will happen because it's happened in Warzone 1 with Modern Warfare and Cold War. Alright. Oh my god, this thing's good. So we will actually be able to see which two versions of the same gun will be better, is what I'm trying to say. But if you want my honest opinion on which one I do think is better, it's a really hard one to decide. I honestly think they are both the same, if not very similar in terms of time to kill. In terms of the hierarchy and how easy it is to actually get kills with it, I feel like this version is way easier because in Modern Warfare 2019, the M13 killed just as fast, I think, if not a bit faster, but the hierarchy in terms of the time to kill with all weapons. So many guns in Modern Warfare that kill faster than the average assault rifles, like for multiplayer, like the Kilo, the M13, the Scar, all those guns got outclassed by the TTK metas, like the AS5, the M4A1, the CX9, the MP5, but the mid-tier are not as fast killing assault rifles, they still got completely outclassed, whereas in this game, the M13 isn't a time to kill meta, but I still feel like it's really, really good. So I feel like the Modern Warfare 2 M13 might be slightly slower in terms of time to kill, if not the same, but in terms of hierarchy in the time to kill, I think the Modern Warfare 2 M13 is better. And depending on which time error Treyarch's next card is in, we could end up getting a Treyarch version of an M4A1 or an MP5 in the modern era, or even an M13. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is my M13 class. The three attachments I always use, it's the monolithic suppressor, the marksman, and an optic. Okay, so for the Modern Warfare 2 M13, you got the Echo's muzzle, the Bruin barrel, the VLK laser, the Bruin stock, and the, and the D37 grip. Now for this stock, you can get weapon tube. It is the best one, I think. As for the rear grip, this is the weapon tuning. I used it for the recoil because the ADS speed is decent. This is the weapon tuning on the VLK laser, weapon tuning on the barrel, and the weapon tuning on the muzzle. But yeah, that's pretty much the class. Yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next video.